Whoa, veteran 0-1-2-1 here. Welcome back. We are let's playing Tales of Fantasia. I said something about going to the Ninja Village. Well, there's something else I want to do first. As you can see, we're right outside the Olive Village, and we want to actually fly southwest, or just slightly southwest of that, and we can find an island over here. So let's check it out. There's an island with a house over here. Looks like some rundown shop. Wonder who lives here. The Aegis Shop, huh? This smithy was founded by the successors of Aegis, the peerless dwarven craftsmen. Our prices are so low and our worksmanship is so far ahead of the pack. There's no simply no competition. Buy some, you've nothing to lose. And if our goods are out of your price range, here's a secret to becoming rich. You know about the trade? Yeah, I know about trading goods. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Hey there. Got any ivory? I've had an itching to carve something out of the stuff lately. It's for the pleasure, I'll make you something out of it in return. Yeah, we don't have any. Elephants won't be around much longer this for us. Oh, okay, so we gotta get some ivory from some elephant elephants then or some shit. I don't know. Uh let's see. Rare plates. Interesting. We got anything for Suzu? No fucking armor for Suzu? We can get a crescent bow, but that's not as good as the elven bow for uh for what's his face. No. What do you have? Combo Command. A mysterious device enables all strike arts to be performed via button input. See the Battle Arts menu for more info. Oh, okay, so you can equip this on a character and all art, all art, basically all the arts will be available. They'll just be able to put in combos instead of, uh, I don't know, instead of other stuff. I don't really see the point to that accessory because I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I'm just gonna stick to three or four arts per character if I'm controlling it for that character. So yeah, I'm not I'm not even gonna worry. But as you can see, we can buy some pretty good equipment here. But too bad none of it's for Suzu. That's who. That's why I kind of came here in the first place. I'll I'll get that stuff eventually. Just not right now. So anyways, let's go back to the freaking Ninja Village. In fact, I, I might actually hold off. You know what? I, yeah, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold off. I'm not gonna do that ninja village right now because you gotta fight with uh, Suzu alone, and right now she kind of sucks. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back. I will fight with her. I'll just. Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter too much, right? Yeah, these red sages that I have they increase max HP by 10%. She needs it anyways. I mean, hell, she's on level 38, and look how much HP she has. That's horrid. It, yeah, in fact, it's like arch horrid. It's like really bad. So, seeing as like she's a ninja, that uh, makes more sense to give her more HP. So you know what? I'm gonna hook her up with some more HP here. I mean, granted, if she was at a higher level and higher HP, she'd get a better effect out of those, but whatever. So I'm going to go to the Ninja Village now. All you have to do to go to the Ninja Village now is enter the Mirror Forest. She'll ask you if you want to go to the Ninja Village, and she'll automatically teleport us there. Just like that. So you don't have to walk all the way to the Elven Settlement, not any of that stuff anymore. So that's pretty nice. Alright, to make this next part a lot easier, uh, I, I did have a shield ring equipped on Mint. I removed it and I gave it to Suzu here. As you can see without it, uh, well, yeah, as you can see without it, it totally weakens her, but if you equip it, yeah, she'll gain a whole bunch of evasion and defense, so I recommend equipping it for this part right here. So anyways, uh, yeah, you need to have one of her books for art books, and you also need to have a rope in your inventory, and Klaus will say, alright, I'm lowering the rope. I don't know how you're supposed to be able to figure this out, but, um, yeah, down here are five trials that await us. 
And Suzu's gonna be fighting all by her lonesome in this place. The Ninja of the Trial, wait ahead. Their tests will grow <coughs> excuse me, will grow more difficult as you progress. You must be prepared to exert your skills to the utmost. If you're defeated, the game will not end. However, the ninja of the trial will be restored, so don't be reckless. The ninja of the trial will also be restored if you regroup or go outside. You must defeat all five in succession in order to pass the trial. Alright. So yeah, we gotta answer five questions, and I don't think it really matters which ones you answer, but there are correct and technically quote-unquote incorrect answers to this place. I don't know. So, let's face this first guy here. This guy is going to have about 5,000 HP. The target you must kill has a child. Are you justified in killing the child as well? Yes. Yes, one must dispatch any who may do harm later. Yep. So, if you answer wrong, then the ninja will get mad and he'll say something mean to you. But we still have to fight him anyways. Make sure you have a shield ring equipped for this battle. It will totally help. Because, yeah, these guys hit hard. Make sure to have your best equipment equipped. This guy isn't so bad because he doesn't have that much HP. And there you have it. Splendid. Know that this is the origin of enfeeblements. I inquire of you. You have received a direct order from your master commanding you to betray your comrades. Are you justified in executing that command? Uh... Yeah. Very well. So yeah, that one is also a yes. Now all these guys do is charge at you, and they do hit pretty hard. So you gotta be careful. This guy has basically double the HP as the last guy. We got him, yay! So yeah, he was pretty easy. So yeah, you wanna heal up. And let's talk to this guy. Oops, I forgot to read the stone. Eh, it doesn't matter. Person accidentally comes upon you in the midst of your duties. Are you justified in killing this person? Yes! Yes. We're very secretive. We don't want anybody to see us. So this guy is going to have about 20,000 HP. So it's going to take even longer to kill this guy. As you can see, uh, they get increased attack power as you uh, progress through this place. Ow. The strategy I like to do is just sit here in the corner and jump up and down like an idiot. And then when they get stunned, just unleash on them. I like Omega Storm a lot, so I tend to use it a lot with her. Uh-oh. So annoying. I 
I wish Suzu had better attack power. As you can see, this guy blocks most of your attacks. Come on. So you can't even get a combo in most of the time with this fucker. I don't know how I got out of that one without taking some cheap damage. Just die, you piece of shit. Oh, great. Why don't you die now? You need to fucking die now. Die now. Die 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 God! I was gonna say, I, I figured he was getting close there. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna make a save state after this guy because, uh... Yeah, the next two fights are going to take even longer. The next guy is probably going to have like 30,000 HP. So, uh, yeah. Alright, let's see if we can uh, take on this guy now. This is the fourth ninja. This guy is going to have 30,000 HP. Uh, the correct answer here is no. And this battle is going to suck. Yeah, I missed him there. Yay. So this guy's just gonna keep attacking me like a dipshit. And uh, I'm just gonna keep slashing him in the face. I'm gonna keep doing this as much as I can, because this is the surefire way to whittle down his HP since he has so much of it. Uh, yeah, when he gets stunned, go ahead and use uh, arts on him then. And yeah, I recommend once you get down to about, I don't know, less than 2,000 HP, heal up. Oh, come on. Come on. Wow, you brought my HP almost back down to what it was before. So yeah, these battles are not fun. I hate one-on-one -on -one battles in this fucking game. If I could just have Mint with me right now, that would be awesome. Well, yeah, if you play it safe with this jump up and down and slash strategy... You really can't do a whole lot. I mean, yeah, it'll take you longer to kill him, but you got a better chance to kill him, so that's a good thing, right? And yeah, even... <sighs> fuck. There's still chances that you're gonna screw up, too, with this strategy, because he's still gonna get his, his hits in. You know, but this is the surefire way to do it. And again, yeah, when he gets stunned, go ahead and use your arts to deal more damage to him. If this guy wasn't so fucking fast, and if he didn't try and bum rush you all the time, then I would try something different. But as it is. His attack power is too high, and uh, my attack power is not high enough to be able to deal with his bullshit. I could be using flare bottles here, but as it is, uh, if I do that, he'll just deal more damage to me uh, while I'm doing that. Like, you know, I use a flare bottle, I'm basically stunned while I'm using the item, and while I'm stunned, he's fucking hitting me for, like, good damage, so it's better off not even to bother with that shit. Because you never know when he's going to be stunned. And then 
the flare bottles themselves don't last very long. So yeah, when he gets stunned, go ahead and unload on him with freaking Omega Storm. The thing that fucking annoys me is the amount of times this guy will block your freaking attacks. Like anything lower than a hundred is considered a block, I guess, from what I'm seeing. All right, we got him! Yay! Farewell, asshole. We get a miracle gem for gel, not gem. Miracle gel for uh, defeating him. Yay! Splendid. All right, the final ninja. This is probably gonna take the longest. This final ninja has, he has like 50,000 HP. And he has the most defense and attack power. So pretty much, I I, pr I guess I'm going to be using the, uh, I'm going to be using the, uh, the last, the strategy I used for the last battle. Just freaking back up, and fr put yourself against the wall, and freaking just jump and attack. That's all I'm gonna do. It's gonna take forever to beat this guy this way, but you know, it's a surefire way to beat him. You're dealing damage constantly. You're not taking damage from him. Because if you start jumping around and shit, this guy will whoop your ass. As you can see, he tried to fucking get me out of the corner there. I don't know how he's blocking my goddamn attacks. Three, fifteen, thirty-three. Wow. God. Yeah. Whenever he's stunned, unleash the freaking arts, Omega Storm. That's probably the best option right there. Yeah, that's that option where he turns himself into a log and then tries to pounce on you from above. I hate that shit. But eventually, using the strategy, he will go down as well. Come on, hit the fucker. It's just gonna take forever. Ow. Man, some of this damage, he's just nullifying. Really fucking sucks. Ow. And yeah, uh. Come on. Cheap ass. Yeah, I don't think they gave this guy enough fucking HP, you know? 50,000? I mean, come on. That is a lot. It's fucking ridiculous. Even for this game. I mean, you can deal out damage pretty fast and pretty hefty in this game. But when you only have one character, that's a lot of fucking HP. I know this is probably pretty boring if you're watching this, but hey, this is the best and most surefire way I know to beat this fucking guy. Otherwise, you'd have to be at a higher level and, you know, I don't know. You'd have to be more skilled with the arts. I'm not taking any fucking chances because I've already lost. Hell, I lost to the fourth guy a lot. You know, when I was doing test battles, I was fucking losing a lot. When I was trying to be fancy and shit, so fuck fancy. I'm gonna do what works, and this shit fucking works right here. Maybe tedious, but it works. I'm not expending that much fucking healing items, and I'm slowly dealing damage to him, so eventually he will go down. It's just a question of, you know, 
question of when. I wish there was like an HP meter in this game. Or you could at least see how, how close you are to killing him. As it is, I can only just keep doing this and hoping that he'll die soon. And that's pretty much what I have to do. Hope he gets stunned a little bit more often. Ooh, critical hit, I like that. Wish I could get more of those against this guy. Whoa, what are you doing? Don't run away from me. Eventually, come on. I'm not taking any chances here. Anytime it gets close to about two grand, I'm healing. God, can you get stunned a little bit more often here? Please? This is ridiculous. Yeah, they gave this guy too much defense. Too much defense, too much HP. He's too quick. I mean, shit, give me more fucking HP, you know? Make it a little bit more fair, you know what I mean? I mean, hell, I don't even think, if I maxed out my HP, I would still only have, like, a fifth of his total fucking HP anyways, right? So, yeah, that's bullshit. Ow. See? Look how much damage he can fucking deal to me. It's fucking insane. Die! Quit blocking my fucking attacks, you fucking prick. <sighs> Come on. Oh, you fucking asshole. Now, like I said, sometimes he'll get in cheap shots. He'll do that fucking high slash, and he'll fucking hit me. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the play control either in this game. It does seem kind of stiff sometimes. Die, you moronic piece of crap. With too much HP. God! Well, the cheap shots are starting to become more frequent now. Don't get behind me. Fucker. <sighs> I mean, if you can beat this guy more exciting way, then good for you, but <laughs> I can't. I'm not skilled enough. I can't imagine somebody trying to play this shit on fucking hard or mania mode. Yeah, if you beat this game, uh, there's actually a new difficulty mode unlocked called mania mode, which is supposed to be even harder than hard mode. 
I don't know how crazy you have to be in order to actually try that, but hard is bad enough. I mean, why the fuck would you try Mania mode? I mean, shit. Come on, just die. Just die. Just die, you piece of shit. Oh. You need to fucking die. My patience is starting to wear thin now. Ugh. See, even when I use those fucking arts, I'm only doing like 50 per hit. I mean, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Oh, that could have been really bad. Yeah, if he stuns you, you might be fucked. That's why you want to keep your HP high. Because if that happens, he'll just fucking rape your ass. That was most of the time how I was dying in the other battles when I was doing test battles against these guys, you know? I mean, shit, some of these hits against him, I'm getting one. Come on! Four? I mean, shit. Come on. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna pause my game. That's all for this episode of... Tales of Fantasia in the next episode I'm going to continue fighting Sasuke here and hopefully I'm close enough to killing this guy because yeah it's probably making this episode really long so there you go this is Veteran0121 I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time